everyone, this is Avinash from SOS. In this video, we are going to see a demo on the latest Capture 2.0 using Salesforce web application. If you are new to Capture, I would highly recommend you to visit docs.workshop.com to get more documentation on the subject. Okay, so before we get started with the demo, I also want you to visit this link from workshop.com to get an introduction to Capture 2.0, its features, and also Chris Cross from Workshop has put together two amazing videos. One is for the Capture 2.0 for business users and another one is Capture 2.0 for test automation professionals. So please make sure you watch these videos as well. So before we begin with the demo, let me walk you through the new Capture version 2.0. So once you've installed uh, the new Capture, you can see the process Capture 2.0 is there in your desktop. So once you click on it, you should see this window. Now this is the new UI of Capture 2.0 and earlier versions of Capture did not have this. So the uh, top section of the screen is your business process workflow section where it displays um, your steps, your business process steps in sequential order. And the below one is your toolbar where it has some uh, set of buttons that are needed for your capture. Like you have your uh, comments, your activity, you have your screen captures and then you have a button to start your recording and then to save your capture. And then you can see a small fingerprint icon for live touch, which is a new feature in this Capture 2.0. Okay, so let's see the features of Capture 2.0. So Capture 2.0 supports the following interfaces, uh, which are web, SAP, Oracle Forms and mobile. Now it also supports some features through live touch. This was not part of your earlier releases, which is a major advantage of uh, Capture 2.0. So LiveTouch supports web, Java, mobile, Oracle Forms, SAP, and Silverlight. Now let's say your application has more than one uh, interface, which are not really supported by uh, Capture interfaces. You can use LiveTouch interfaces to LiveTouch them manually. Okay. So then you have settings, you have preferences. So I would definitely recommend you to uh, check this show image thumbnails, which will have a small thumbnail below your process steps as you capture. Okay, and then you have tips. So tips are your, uh, since you're new to Capture 2.0, so I would recommend you to using these tips. Whenever you uh, start or enable some technology, it will give you a tip. Okay, and then you have options and analyze. So since you're already aware that Capture can be directly saved to analyze, which is your uh, business process visualization tool, where you can create your documentation and also automation from analyze to workshop certified. So if you have your credentials, you can give that here and configure it. And then we have options for uh, HTML as well. So if your application was custom built and you have an XF definitions created by Worksoft for you, you can also use them here with the correct set. Okay, so let's start capturing Salesforce application using our latest Capture 2.0. So in Salesforce, I want to capture the steps for lead creation. So let me begin capture. So you can see that it says start capture, start recording by hitting the red button. This is a tip. If you don't want this, uh, you can go to the settings and disable it. But I would recommend you to enable this as always. Okay. So now I will click to begin recording. Now it says enable technologies. You see that uh, web is enabled because we have chosen web only at the moment. So do it one by one, which would be good. Okay. And now you can see the other uh, buttons are enabled, comment, activity, and screenshot. So I would start my capture with a comment. I would say, click on home and all tabs button. Okay, so I'll take a screenshot here. So there are two types of screenshot here, active window and screen. Active window is only going to take the current window. Screen is going to take the full desktop. So I would use screen. You can see it captures the full screen. Okay. So now I'll click on home and I click on all tabs, which is the plus button here. You can see that as I do it on the Salesforce application on my AUT, capture starts capturing it simultaneously. You can see now I have finished around four to five steps. And now I have to click on lead. So I'll add a comment, click on leads link. 
I'll add a screenshot as well. So adding your comment and screenshots is always a best practice because uh, once the test automation professional imports the capture into certify, it will be easy for him or her to add in the test case. So I would always recommend you to use the capture best practice. Okay. Now I click on the leads link here. Okay. So now I will add a comment. Click on new button and also take a screenshot. Now let's say I, I can even take an active screenshot here, active window, which will give me only the active window. Okay. Now let's say I want to delete the 10 step now because I've added two screen captures. I can select the step and you see there is a delete button here, delete selected steps. So I, it says delete one capture steps, click on yes. You see it got deleted. So this is also an advantage of capture 2.0 where uh, delete functionality is also added. So you can select and delete any step that you don't, don't like. Okay. So I click on new now. Okay, so let me add a comment. Input. Input salutation. First name. Last name. Company. Lead status and rating. And then we have to click on save. So I give the comment here. Okay, so I start with salutation. It's Mr. and myself. And my company. So I give the lead source as well. So I can give web. I can give the lead status. I can also give the rating. And then I click on save here. So before I save, I just want to take a screenshot to preserve the data. Okay. And then I click on save. Okay. Now I need to verify once the lead has been successfully created, it would show up the title here as uh, Mr. Avinash Kumar with the salutation and the lead name. Okay. So I want to verify this object. So you can see that the live touch interfaces are there. Okay. And uh, I have to select web because I want to verify a web object here. So I select only web and you see, once I've selected it, you see the small fingerprint icon here. It says click to begin live touch. So select that and select the object that you want. This one. The moment I have done it, you can see that it says verify that Mr. Avinash Kumar HTML address is equal to Mr. Avinash Kumar. So this is what I want. Okay. And then I will disable the end live touch. Okay, I'll end it. And now we have captured it successfully. And now I'm going to click to review. So now to stop the recording, I say click to review. Okay. So now you can see that we have captured around 22 steps. The main advantage of capture 2.0 is also that uh, if I want to edit a specific step, that means um, a step that I want to edit its window or an object, I can click on the step and you can see that there is a uh, view details. You can see the image also. I can open the image in a separate uh, image view. You can see the object properties. You can see the window properties, its name. I can also do an edit here. So right click and edit. I can also rename the object. I can also see its action. It says verify. So really an interesting feature in capture 2.0. Okay, so now I've finished my capture. The final stage is to save it now. So you can see that once you have finished the recording, uh, the save button is enabled. So click to save capture. I click on it. And then I save this in my desktop. Save it in Salesforce lead create. I want to replace it, save it. Okay, so now we have saved the capture. The next step is to open certify and import the capture. 
Okay, so now let's import the capture that we captured earlier. So go to certify and in the processes tab in the respective folder, right click and choose new process using certify capture import. Now choose the capture that we saved earlier. In my case, it's a desktop. And now um, it gives you a capture XML import screen. So provide a certify process name. Okay. And then uh, choose the application version where you want to hold the new window and uh, object. So I choose Salesforce and then you click on OK. And now you can see that it starts building steps and uh, it saves it. Now we can also see that uh, the process contained 22 steps. It has been imported successfully now. Now let's open the certify process that we just created using capture import. You can see that in the steps tab, all the 22 steps that we captured has been imported and created successfully. Before I begin execution, I want to change just one step. Just going to add a verification a dynamic weight on the lead name. Okay, so let's execute this test case now. An important note is Capture also supports Mozilla and Firefox along with Internet Explorer. Okay, you can see that the execution has already begun. Okay, now the lead has been created successfully. Okay, so now the verification has also been uh, complete and now we can see the test case passed. So now you see that how easy it was for us to capture a um, lead creation uh, business flow from Salesforce and then uh, import the capture into certify and execute it. So this is all from my side guys. See you all in a new video soon.